Saints of God, we got a lot to thank God for. Amen. You know, let me tell y'all something. A lot of these things, we just, you know, we're so accustomed to hearing the word of God, we, until we get to a point, we take it for granted. Amen. We become, I heard this brother testify sometime, some weeks ago, saying that how that, we, he's, so, he's so grateful that when the ministers get up, he's able to hear the true divine word of God. Amen. You're not hearing, uh, you know, some truth mingled with a lot of lies. Amen. Do you, you hear me? Amen. Because, see, this is the way the devil works. The devil will come and throw out enough truth just to get your attention. Right. And then mingle it with a bunch of lies Amen. to draw you away from God. Amen. One late bishop said it this way. He said you can have a bowl of soup with one fly foot in it. <laughs> You can have a big bowl of soup, all your mixed vegetables, all your, you know, whatever kind of food you want to put in it. But in the midst of that bowl of soup, you got one fly foot. Yes, sir. Just one fly yes, foot. One. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Do y'all want the soup? No sir. But all the vegetables in it is good. Yes. But that flat foot is down Amen. there. Amen. Throw it out. Yes. yes sir. I don't want it. Amen. Now, a lot of these churches, a lot of these religions, a lot of these preachers ain't got one flat foot. Amen. They got the flies. Amen. The whole flies. Amen. Do you understand? All of it in that. That's right. Let me tell you something. Anytime you teach the folk the Son of God don't exist anymore, that's a flat foot. Yes, Do you hear me? Anytime you teach folk they can be saved without the Holy Ghost, fly foot. Do you understand? That's a fly foot, man. Do you understand? Anytime you teach all this kind of cor damnable and corruptible doctrines to the people, those are fly foots. I don't care how much truth you preach. I'm focused on the fly foot. Do you understand? That need to come out of the suit first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's Do you right. hear me? Yes, Lord. Hear me, brothers and sisters. We, we, we got a lot to thank God for. Yes, Amen. Sir. I'm not in nobody's bondage this morning. Amen. Amen. I'm, in, I'm not in nobody's bondage. I'm able to worship the Lord freely Amen. in spirit and in truth. Yes. And I know who yes. Jesus is. Yes. Amen. I know who he is. Yes. I know how to reach him. Praise Do the Lord. you understand? Praise I know how to contact him. Yes. I don't have to go through nobody to reach Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Do you understand? Hallelujah. I don't have to go through nobody. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? Thank God, man, when the spirit of truth has come, the Bible says, it got you. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Thank God, man, I thank God for this. Amen. I, I can't say how much I thank God for this. Amen. The Bible says, whom the Son has set free. He's free indeed. Yes, I said a son of God has set me free. Yes, yes. And I'm free, brother. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? I'm free to serve God without bondage. Amen. Nobody's bondage. Amen. And I mean that. My God, man, I feel good about this. Praise thing. the Lord. I feel good about it. Praise the Lord. Do you hear me? God have his way of doing things. Amen. A lot of times we don't understand. Amen. But God have his way of doing things. My God, man, and according to that scripture, the Bible said all things work together for good. For them that love God, if you love God, whatever way God bring you, just stand still. He'll show you his walking for your good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of things I've went through in my life. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't quite figure it out while I was going through. Amen, brother. But Amen. brother, let me tell you something. I'm Amen. able to look back now. Amen. God was working on my behalf. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. It was working for my good and I couldn't see it at the time. Hallelujah. My God, I thank God for it. Amen. Amen. I thank God for what he's doing. Amen. Do you hear me? I thank God for what he's doing. Amen. I can say like Paul, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Do you hear me? Amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. It is the power of God Amen. to stop things. Yes. I'm not ashamed of this thing. Yes. I'm not ashamed of the Amen. Son of God. Amen. I thank God for this. Amen. I feel good about Amen. it. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. I feel good about this thing. Amen. Do you hear me? My God, I tell the brother often, I'm, I'm enjoying the ride. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, I'm enjoying this ride God yeah. got us on. I'm enjoying it. And in the midst of this riding, we got to obey God. Amen. We just got to keep obeying God and let God work this thing out. 
Do you hear me? Yes, sir. My God, you got a lot of vain talkers out here. Amen. That if you ain't careful, they'll pull you off track. Yes, Do you understand? But we got to stay focused. Amen. We got to keep our eyes on the prize. Amen. We got to teach the scriptures. Amen. Do you hear me? My God, there's a time to rebuke the gainsayers. Amen. That's a time for that. Right. The Bible said so. Amen. Titus 1, brother, verse 15. Amen. That's, right. That's a time to deal with them. Amen. Hear me now. Amen. My God, man, listen. Titus 1, 15, what did it say? Unto the pure. Unto the pure. All oh, things are pure. All things are pure. Right. Unto them that are defiled. Unto them that are defiled. And unbelieving. And unbelieving. Ain't nothing pure. There ain't nothing pure. Back up to about verse 10. What did it say? For there are many unruly and vain talks. <laughs> And deceived. That's many of them. Amen. That's many unruly and vain what? Talkers and deceivers. Yes. Let's do a whole lot of old vain talk. A lot of old vain talk. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. And those that are weak minded, weak minded, they become trickly deceived by that vain Amen. talk. Amen. Hear me now. Amen. They become trickly deceived by it. Amen. Bible said there's many what? For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. Many of them. Amen. They ain't walking around with horns. They got vitals and suits. Do you hear me? Amen. They got churches and followers. Amen. But the Bible said they're vain talkers and what? Deceivers. Amen. We was talking to some last week, telling them, you know, don't be tossed and driven with every wind of doctrine. Amen, brother. Yes. Get yourself somewhere and settle down. Amen. Amen. Settle down and hear the word of God. Amen. Let me tell you something. There's so many religions out here until every day of your life you can hear something different. Amen. But there's one truth and it's right here. There's one truth and it's right here. And how do I know whether it's a truth or not? Because it's recorded. Amen. It's right here. Amen. Brother. There ain't but one truth. Amen. Do you understand? There is one truth. Amen. Just one. Yes, sir. The Bible says there's many what? For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. That's many of them. Amen. Read the book. Especially they of the circumcision. Especially them that profess that they religious. Uh -huh. Professing it, especially them that's supposed to be saved. Amen. Amen. Especially them. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Read the book. Whose mouths must be stopped. Amen. Uh, How do you stop their mouths? Amen. Do you stop it by calling them names? No, sir. No, do you sir. stop it by slandering them? No, sir. Do you stop it by belittling and insulting them? No. no. You stop them by teaching the scriptures. Amen. Amen. And those that are sincere in heart, when they hear that word open up, it's going to open their eyes. Amen. Now when their eyes come open, God put the ball in their court. Amen. That's right. Now it's your decision. Amen. What you going to do with it? Amen. Do you understand? Amen. You're hearing it. You're reading it. Now what you going to do with it? Amen. Amen. Are you so deceived until you're going to follow something that you see is wrong? Amen. Are you that deceived? Do you understand? Hear me, brothers and sisters. Are you so deceived until you can read and see something is an error, but yet you're going to abide with it? Are you that devilish deceived? <laughs> Hear me, brothers and sisters. Amen. Let me tell you something. God opened your eyes for a reason. Yes, he did. That's right. God ain't come and open your eyes and, and, and allow you to see light for you to stay in darkness. Amen. God ain't did that. That's right. What the purpose of opening your eyes if you're going to stay in darkness? Amen. Don't call me complaining about nothing. Amen. That's right. If you want to abide in darkness, That's right, Amen. Sir. No use to complain. That's right. Do you hear me? Right. Keep eating your soup with your fly feet in. That's right. Keep eating Keep eating it. Keep eating it. Amen. Don't call me complaining. Amen. Keep eating it. Amen. Hear me, brothers and sisters. Bible said that mouths must be stopped. When God opened your understanding, He opened it for a reason. Yes, He did. And he give you a chance, he give you space to depart from the foolishness. Amen. But if you refuse to depart, Amen. hear me brothers and sisters, yes, the Bible said like people like priests, Amen. he allow that spirit to come upon you Amen. and you yourself will start calling evil good. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. You yourself will start calling evil good Amen. and good evil. Amen. Hear me? Amen. This thing ain't nothing to play with. When God over your understanding, 